Well, first of all, congratulations on the award. And look at that award as well. I bet you've not got one like that before, have you? No, no. Just feeling really blessed. Feeling really blessed. <laughs> You're an organisation that's been around for quite a while. Can you give us a, a brief overview of what you do? We work with people with, um, primarily with drug and alcohol and homelessness issues. We help people through uh, uh, pathways of abstinence to recover from drugs and alcohol, uh, help people get homes, get their families back, get jobs, get into education, and basically just give them um, opportunity to get a life back. So, so an emergency flare goes up and you guys step in? Uh, yeah, that's a lot of what we do. Um, a lot of the hard work from the people that come through our projects, really. Um, from that, that point where the, there's the emergency to maintaining it and rebuilding lives and getting health and well-being back as well. And I know I'm probably right in saying that you, you don't do this kind of thing for awards and rewards. You do it because you want to do it. But what does it mean to win an award like this? Uh, it's amazing. It's just really special to be part of something that helps other people, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's really special to help other people, yeah. And what made you get involved with it? Um, <clears throat> I've struggled with issues myself in the past, uh, and it's great to be able to give a bit back to, to other people. Yep. So you speak from experience, so you're in, the, you're in the box seat really, people can probably learn a lot from yourself? Yes, definitely, yeah. Well, congratulations on being the winners, and enjoy the rest of your night, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank congratulations on the, uh, on the award, okay. What, what is it that you do? Can you give us a brief overview of what you do as a project? We offer lots of help and support to those that have been diagnosed with dementia in Todmorden and the surrounding areas. And we hope to sort of help their friends and family as well. And you're a group of volunteers. Yes. What is it that, that made you want to join the group? We've all got families who've had dementia or we've lived with it or worked with it or we are currently living with it. And we're passionate, truly passionate. And the, you're, you're clutching the award there. W would you recommend this as a, as a worthwhile project for somebody to get involved with, somebody who's maybe been through this who could bring, it, bring experience to your, uh, your project? Absolutely. It's up to all, many organisations to get involved. I'm obviously an inspector in the police, and uh, we have lots of people coming through our custody who are young as 30 years of age with living dementia. So it's about uh, gripping the situation early. Diagnosis is key, and giving the help and support that, that we give as volunteers to those people. And do you have to do an element of fundraising to keep, to keep it going? How are you funded? Anybody want to take this? How, how, how are you funded? Uh, you know, there's certain grants that we can apply for, you know, un under the, um, f especially from the CFFC. Uh, but a lot of fundraising that we do is uh, donations from members of the public. And we run a, a cafe every uh, first Saturday and every month. Um, and obviously, you know, it's a small charge that we levy against that, and, and that generally, you know, generates enough funds for us to be able to put some of that back into the community for the people that are struggling to get by with dementia. So it's awesome. Well, congratulations on the award, all of you. It's great to see you all tonight, and congratulations to keep up the great work. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers.